Hi, hello. The aim today is to discuss the archaeological history of Nigeria. But before I do that, I would want to give a brief definition of archaeology. Now, thanks to Google, I found a simple definition which says archaeology is the study of human activities through recovery and analysis of material culture. Now, Tuss said that, simply put, archaeological history of Nigeria describes the finding and studying of the ancient remains, tools, and culture of the Nigerian people. I'm sure it might have crossed your mind. Where is Nigeria? Nigeria is a country in the African continent, West Africa to be precise. It is popularly known for being the most populous and being the giant of Africa. She has been characterized by an ethnic and religious diversity. Nigeria to the north is bound by the Sahara Desert and Niger, south by the Gulf of Guinea, east by Chad and Cameroon, and west by Benin. Now, having explained what archaeology is, where Nigeria is situated, it's time to look at some archaeological findings in Nigeria. The first recorded archaeological finding in Nigeria could be dated back to 1963 at a small village known as Nok. This place was near Kafachan in southern area of Kaduna State. Now, how was this artifact found? It has been recorded that tin miners, while using water to remove tin ore from the soil, found a terracotta, which is a burnt clay, that was shaped as the head of a monkey. But some years later, terracotta was discovered in other places, such as Wamba, Jaima, and Kastina Ala. The area where the Saracota figurines were found is what we now call the Nok culture area. And after several analyses being made on these figurines, it has been recorded that people had existed between 5th to the 2nd century BC. This has shown that there was a transitional culture between the Stone Age and the Iron Age in Nigeria, and this being because of combination of stone and iron objects that was found. To the surprise of many, another archaeological evidence was found in Ife, and this marked a milestone because the evidence such as bronze head and terracotta that was found traced the civilization to the 8th to 10th century, showing that people lived in that area. Other objects such as tools, figures carved from granite decorated with iron nail were still seen in Okba Oramio in Ife, Lagos Museum and also private houses in Europe. Archaeologists have also discovered one interesting characteristic feature of Ife architecture, which is this pot shed pavement built during the reign of Queen Lumo in the 10th century. Further archaeological evidence was discovered by Graham Kummer among others and has shown that in the late Stone Age, there was polished stone axes found on shrine in the present-day Benin. The evidence showed that Benin developed as a result of coming together of different settlements, which recognized the Oba. The settlements were created by banks and ditches built from different people in the 11th century AD, some of which can still be seen in the present-day Edo state, Ishan and Bendel. Some of the Benin bros and brass work such as bangles, chains, have been noted to have been looted by the British troops when they conquered Benin in the 1897 invasion and can still be found in the British Museum. Now, when you think the archaeology history of Nigeria would come to an end, you will be shocked how in 1939, a man hired to dig a pit toilet accidentally discovered some objects and ornaments made of bronze. This is what is now called the Ibo Uko historical site that lies about 30 km of Anicha. But further excavation on the site did not take place until 1959 when an archaeologist named Trostan Shov excavated three sites and found bronze objects of various shapes and sizes, bells, chains, anklets, staff head, bridal chambers which contained a bronze leopard skull was found. A decayed skeleton was found also among others. All the sites excavated at Ubo Uko have been dated to the middle of the 19th century. 
From time to time, artifacts have been found and there are still many sites which are significant to the archaeological history of Nigeria. To conclude with, the archaeological history of Nigeria has shown more light that Nigeria, like other people in the other parts of the world, passed through various stages in their development. The artifacts found have shown several Nigerian culture heritage, cultural heritage and this has helped to increase the knowledge of Nigerian history. Thank you.